Right, so we've got like a last minute car on the channel here. Literally yesterday, Kaki Music, he actually asked us to filter in his music videos. So that's going to be something you're going to be seeing very soon as well. So, And this is actually, I only found out about two days ago that he actually had this. I've seen it on his Instagram, but I just thought it was just one of his like featured cars. Yeah, but no, this is actually his. And it's like a car that like you dream to own when you're a kid. I remember seeing like a 2000 Reg and a 2001 Reg when you were a kid. And it's one of those cars where it's like you very rarely see. I think I've seen like one on the road. So when I seen this on his Instagram in like a bright yellow, we've got to get it on the channel. Now it is coming to around about <laughs> it's coming to around about four o'clock now, so it is gonna start getting dark soon. So we are gonna to have to do this on a pretty quick time to be fair. So this is a 2016 Lotus Elise Sport, and it's so weird saying that because it feels like something that all you ever talk about saying Lotus Elise is like something when you're on Gran Turismo or something. So this is actually the first time I've been up to one of these close and oh my god is it beautiful like obviously it looks nice on Instagram but when you see it in person when I see it coming up the road and the bright yellow and the spoiler it just looks so good so in these engines it's a 1.6 Toyota engine there is actually two versions there's a 1.8 supercharged and there's a 1.6 nationally aspirated this one's got 135 brake that doesn't really seem like much but when you actually get to the part what, what's the weight was it 900 I don't know actually. No way, like my camera just full on <laughs> broke. Like the lens was absolutely mangled. <laughs> I don't know how I've saved this. <laughs> yeah, let's 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 get that Amazon. Let's get that away, shall we? <laughs> right, after a big, big, big scare with the camera, we're back on. Well, where was that? Where was that? 900 kilos, that's where I was, wasn't it? 914 we? kilos. 914 kilos. So when you, I'm not going to work out the power to weight ratio, but I'm sure someone in the comments will. Then you're basically getting something that should be pretty fun. Now, although this is literally a childhood dream to drive these, I'm not going to be biased. I'm going to try and not be biased. And we're going to do it like the normal review is going to start off on the inside, try and find little things that we don't like about the car, little nitpicks. So since it is literally been made for the track, this car, there are going to be some things which are going to be a little bit annoying and we're probably going to easily be able to tell them. Now, when he first pulled up, I said the first thing I noticed was how beautiful the spoiler was. And he's actually put that on himself, which... Well, actually, actually, I put it on with Marty Customs in Darlow. Put it on with, with who, sorry? Marty Customs, he's called. He's a guy who works in Darlow. He does all my wraps and that. I mean, we had, to, we had to drill this. It took us like 45 minutes to. Mark out the <laughs> I was gonna we say, were, yeah. We were like marking it out and measuring it for like 45 minutes before we did. <laughs> well, on, on normal cars, it, you know, you think if you, if you do mess up, it's just oh, I'll just get buy a new boot lid. But you can't exactly do that on this, can you? If you mess up with this, it's a whole new shell. <laughs> but no, the spoiler is actually gorgeous. It actually looks stock. I, like when I first seen it, I thought that actually is a standard spoiler, I and that's the spoiler amazing. The spoiler Like this is off. It's also oh, it is an actual OEM part. Eight, like the upper one. Oh right, okay. Well. That, yeah, so it uh, explains why it looks so standard looking. Then. Is that is that a standard diffuser as well? Yeah, on the 20, I think it's the 26 e models they brought that, that diffuser in. That's just a stock thing on the actual car. It looks so sick, sick. Really. It's so sick. So he's just said that this is actually the upgraded model, so you've got the suede seats. And the most important thing, which I would like, is the electric windows. So do the standard models come with wind-up? Wind right. You can get a, yeah, that's wind -up ones on, on a certain model. That's very tracker-oriented, isn't it? But yeah, I suppose, yeah, yeah, yeah I, think I, would, I think I would need the, the electric windows. Right, now let's see what it's like. Now, it is actually a really small car, so I'm guessing getting in and out isn't going to be the most fun thing in the world, as, as you I'd, I'd previously say, stated. I'd say getting in and out is the worst. Worst is the worst car. thing. Mate, I'd be surprised if you can get in in a flattering way. I'm a flexible lad, mate. There is a technique, like if you go on the forums, there's a technique to getting in. I don't even think I've mastered it, like. Oh. oh. Hey, it's not too mate, bad. It wasn't that, too mate. bad, mate. <laughs> getting out's worse, though. Getting out is worse. It's actually like being inside a luxurious go kart. Like just <laughs> the way you, the, just how yeah, deep yeah. you're sat in the seats, just how your legs are fully extended as well. It's so cool. Now it's actually quite comfy, I think. Like, it is as a actually. passenger, like you've got you stretch your legs out. It's yeah, you can just chill your legs all the way. You can, like my leg, my legs are completely flat there. You sat on the floor, isn't it, man? That's <laughs> so cool, and it's so good looking out the bonnet and just seeing like the, the big like the big body kits just come up, and even when you're looking out the side mirrors as well, you can it's literally spoiler. just see the end of the spoiler, and it's and like the the big wide arches. It actually, kind of, it reminds me of being in a Lambo looking out the the side mirrors, just seeing the big big arches at the back just sticking out so far. Now unfortunately Lotus, Lotus have used 
I've, I've seen this online before and, and I've just found out now. This to me is not something I'm a big fan of, to be fair. Now, I don't like it when cars have keys and buttons. I'd rather just do one or the other. If you're going to have a start-stop button, just make the key uh, wireless. Or if you're going to have a key, just have a key. So in, this, in the Lotus, you've got to put the key in. Have you got to turn it to the ignition? Yep. And then you've got to press the start well, button. Well, actually, there's an immobilizer on it as well, just to oh. add to you. So, yeah, so I'm going to press that. that. And then now we're Now in. you can click it, yeah. But the so, immobilizer got me the insurance down, so let's be, oh, happy, right. let's oh, be happy about the immobilizer. Winner, winner. Although it looks pretty having a start button there, if you're going to turn the key anyway, what's the point in having a button? The dials are actually set, and they're actually coming across way ma mad on the camera. It actually looks like a full LED screen on the camera. The video mate, so clear. It's gorgeous, isn't it? The old uh, dials on the last Lotus looked horrible in my eyes. Yeah, the dials are absolutely beautiful. Considering, considering it's like a track-focused car, the, 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 I thought the dials would have been very simple and just like you know, like an old style sort the dials, of dials. The dials look modern. The only thing in the interior that I think lets the car down is the radio, like. Yeah. So is that the standard radio? I've actually changed that. The standard one looks basically the same as that. Right. It's like a universal, like single din radio. Yeah. I am going to one of the main mods I'm going to do it with because I've only done like newish the car when you got six thousand miles on it. One of the mods I'm going to do is put like a CarPlay double DIN one. Yeah, that'd, be, to, that'd be nice. I was going to say, you're going to have to edit so all, take you, out the... You get a new top for this, you have to cut like there and there. Yeah, I can <laughs> imagine. <scary. laughs> now, I've always been a fan of small steering wheels. A lot of, a lot of cars I get in, I, a lot of the Nala points are actually the steering wheels are way too big. I find that is something that I come across a, a lot. Now, I'm always a big fan of the aftermarket small steering wheels, but this steering wheel, oh my God. Tiny, this steering mate. wheel is tiny. <laughs> it's literally I've never I've never felt anything like it. It's kinda like you're in some sort of a kid's little toy. I love the fact that you just got like there's just no buttons anywhere. It's just so simplistic. Like I'm not a fan of all these new modern cars which have got hundreds of different buttons and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I always really like simple simple cars. So is that your side lights? Yep. Your full beams and your fogs that's it yeah, that's, that's literally right. the only buttons really inside the car obviously you've got the dials here for the uh, for the air conditioning and stuff and this model actually does have air conditioning yeah. no you've got the roof off in the summer oh so yeah, oh, yeah. No, no, no. convertible life there's no need for air con then is there we actually had the roof off in the winter like last week when we were doing the video it was horrible <laughs> literally just found the cutest thing about the car look at the little door handles <laughs> I don't even know why I find them so cute and the lucky windows so they work. I just love how simple everything is. It's yeah. you know what I mean? Like you can feel you can feel the motor working and a lot of new cars they, they try to make a nice oh luxurious sound coming up and down, but it's just simple like up yeah. down. It's got, it's got the suede and the leather pack on it. I think normally they come plastic, I haven't seen one, but I think there's a lot more plastic on the inside, so yeah. I am glad it's got the suede like. Yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? A little bit of like comfort, Yeah, a bit, like, bit, a bit more today. exotic, yeah. So with the obviously with the, with it being a two seater, what's the boot space like boot space like? Boot space, I'd say is alright. We got a music video shoots. You've right. seen Nathan's setup, it's yeah. pretty big. Yeah. We get it in. It's not Just easy to do. The worst thing the worst thing about the boot is accessing it with that spoiler. Dude, this is alright for me, like, because I'm <laughs> quite a flexible guy. <laughs> he, he, he says. <laughs> boot latching here. And it's getting in. Which is alright, you've got your space all back here. It's just all actually right. getting over the spoiler to get stuff in. Right. That's the only little struggle, <laughs> only struggle that you have. Hey, so the engine's just there, isn't it? Yeah, it looks alright, doesn't it? Like? It does. So, is it pretty much standard to me? You're not messing with the exhaust or anything like that? I haven't had long enough to do it. Well, I, don't, right. I, don't, I don't really plan to do that much. That wise, that, no. when you have a drive, you'll see it's, it is quiet. Like idle, it is quiet. Yeah. But when you put your foot down, it's got like a count. It counts you down each gear, so it'll go like three, two, one. Right. And then as you're doing that, the sound just goes like it roars. Comes in a bit you. like VTEC. Yeah, mate. It roars <laughs> at you. When you have a go of it, I'll let you get to that point. And you, you, you sort of wouldn't want to change the exhaust just because of how nice that is. Yeah. Well, I think it's time to have a drive it then. I think that's the cue, isn't it? Right then. You ready? This is so weird, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it? Mate, it's weird to me. I it's an experience that you you won't really get unless you. So it's six gears, which is good. The gears are good, like changing gear feels mint. It really does. So at what point do you know when the immobilizer's off? Or do you... So turn the key. Yeah, on the ignition there. Of course, now. you think you've just done it, it's not on. It normally gives you like a little red circle there, right. so your sound just turns on. Yeah. I see what you mean with the pet, the pedals are so close together, aren't they? Yeah, it's only it's if you're wearing like the new fashions off chunky in it. So like when you're wearing chunky shoes, you can't, you're trying to push the accelerator, you're hitting the brake at the same time. The, the throttle is the, it's so heavy. Yeah, yeah, it isn't is. it? Oh yeah, my god, it's heavy, you know, like when you've been driving around for a bit. See, this, this is like... a, this is a light, quite a light clutch to me. Is it? I let you have a feel of the Evo's clutch, mate, and oh, you, right, you yeah, would. Yeah. Uh, you'll so we, we, I love the gearbox. The gearbox, yeah, the gearbox is really so good. notches. Let's try it first, yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Do you 
Revit too. Oh yeah. <laughs> up there. Oh, the steering's so tight. Yeah, yeah, the steering's oh tight. wow. <laughs> it is a go kart, isn't it? Oh my god. <laughs> steering's amazing. So it's rear wheel drive, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, rear wheel drive. So that, and it will the, slip yeah. on you, like this sort of road. Oh. It won't give it won't give you much in the back end of the I outbound. can imagine. So what when the back end goes, because it's such a short wheelbase, is it kind of hard to keep control no, of it? No, it's it, it's it's proper like intuitive to pull it back in. I, every time I've took my mates out for a first drive in this, I've been pushing that a little bit too much and the back ends come out. Right. We both shit ourselves. Just admit it like yeah, me, I wasn't trying to do that at all. <laughs> so it's got it's got no power steering as well, hasn't it? No, which you can yeah, feel. You can kind of feel when mean? you're going slow, yeah, 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 but obviously when you're at when you're at speed you can It's nice it. when you're at speed, it's just if you're in multi-stories, like yeah. you're bloody absolutely jacking I can around. imagine. I bet it kinda adds to the, the handling as well, it not does, having yeah, power yeah. steering, especially when you're uh, going quicker. Yeah, yeah. It's, it you can feel how tight the steering is, it's so good. It's just so cool. Look at it. Actually, looks like when you're looking at the out the side mirrors, it actually looks like a McLaren P1. Ah, McLaren, that's what it is. Doesn't it? Have you noticed that? Doesn't it? It looks exactly. First time like I sat in it, I actually said, I said like, I said to Nate, who's like my video guy, I literally said to him, I said, mate, it just feels like a McLaren. <laughs> like, you'd never think this car would be good for long drives, but like we've obviously drove it to Leeds today, and it's yeah. it is actually fine. It's, a, it's a quite a comfy car. It's a bit... What's this, mate? This is sick when it does it. Oh yeah, so you, like, <laughs> yeah. What, what, did, what did it say then? I weren't looking. Yeah, so I just oh, it just goes doof 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 and then you're yeah, it's, it, 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 it's fun. It's, it's made for fun. Have you took it on a track or anything yet? I haven't made it yet, no. Are you, are you planning to? Probably, I probably will at some point. <laughs> Do you get much people like looking and asking you about it? And no, see, it's one of them cars mate, like people don't know what it is. Like yeah. a lot of people don't know what this car is. Really? Like, yeah. See, I thought, oh the, the handling. A lot of people like I mean, when you're driving the motorway a day, I mean they have a laugh because like everyone who's going past it, like you'll see them sort of looking and like the kids are all pointing at it and that. So it's, yeah. It's a good it is a good feeling. See, but like I'd be like that when I was a kid, like I'd have been yeah. pointing at this car. To me, this is well. like such a, like just a <clears throat> what's the word I'm looking for? Like you know what it is straight away as soon as you're looking. Although you don't see many about, it's just one of those cars where like car it needs will. no introduction. Yeah, yeah, car people like know that, but I think there's a lot of people that aren't maybe right. in the cars that look at this and I think you'd put this in the band of sort of like your supercars, you know what I mean? Like yeah. when you're looking at it. So the sport button's around here and yep. we just pressed it and instantly the whole car just stiffened up. I've not been in a car that's felt like that. No, I, well, I'd never been in. N never I've been in anything that's just felt swift. so tight. Well, big difference. <laughs> yeah. Never been in anything that's just felt so tight. Look at this, look at this S3 behind us, or is it, what, is it an RS3 or something? Yeah. <laughs> if you're doing a straight line though. Yeah, be, oh, yeah. Straight. I'm, I'm going to pretend that I've got low fuel. Not going to fuel, mate. <laughs> <laughs> we actually haven't. Oh, we actually haven't. Oh, the handling, man. There we go. There we go. There we, there, there we go. Oh, it's so tight. Oh, it's great. Wow. What a fun little car. So we met we met today because you wanted me to feature in, in the new music, music video you're doing. Yeah. So have you got any like, big plans coming up with that? Well, the mu that music video we're doing that you're in, yeah. like, I think I'll let you know that it, it's Asian Doll, she's called the last that's in there. Yeah, I remember you sent me the Instagram of the girl, she's, yeah. She's sick, like, a verse, see, I haven't even showed you a verse yet, we've already done the music video. But like, she's signed a Gucci man, who's like, obviously, he's like big over in America. Yeah. So she's one that, she's like, she'll be our main feature that we drop, like, up till now it's obviously only been local artists and like smaller artists on our sort of level that we featured with, but you've got Asian Doll, the Asian Doll feature coming, then I don't know, like, what sort of music is you listening to? We've got features off uh, Juicy J. Really? Yeah, like wow. he's, he's, he's sick, so like, he's featured on the album. Yeah, that's amazing, I'm, mate, that's yeah. so good. Honestly, mate, like, it's crazy, really, because like, these are people I listen to. Like, they're, they're like my favorite artists. And, and now you're working with them? We're actually working with them, like, and it's Sway Lee, I don't know if you've heard of him. Yeah. And like Ray Shrum, and uh, they actually asked us, like, personally to be on their next single. Oh, man, that's mate, so good. Is, honestly, mate. I'm just so happy for you, mate. That's, mate, actually, that's incredible, man. Honestly, mate, you can imagine I was absolutely buzzing. So, like, yeah. we've recorded that verse for him. Like, his chorus is sick. I've just got to wait around now to see when that comes out. I can't wait to watch it. See oh, me mate. in it as well. Mate, mate, you, get all the team in the video again, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Make it big over in America. So obviously I'll leave links to his, you, you got, you, 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 I mean, most of stuff is on YouTube. Yeah, we just, yeah, we've yeah. just moved over to YouTube from right. Facebook. So like, right. we're, yeah, we're, we're trying to, we're trying to build up, just, Facebook's like, I found it easier to get clicks and views, but mm. like, it just doesn't last. You can't, like, you wouldn't go on Facebook and think, oh, I'm going to watch someone's new music video. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Whereas you go on YouTube, YouTube and think, oh, yeah, like, YouTube is search what he's been doing, so. Uh, and, and his Instagram would have been on the screen as soon as he did the video as well. Right, as the sun's going down, 
it's a perfect time to end the video. So thanks so much to Pakaki. Like, like this is actually a dream. Like it's just a childhood dream to drive. I think it's gonna be. I think you've enjoyed the video, and I think it's gonna be a great thing. I've not seen many many videos on these leases, so I think it's gonna be great for the channel. <clears throat> now my overall sort of review on it and now a lot of people will be wondering how fast it feels and how fast it is with a with a figure of 135 brake uh, and with a weight of 90 kilos obviously that's quite quite hard to add up in your head but out of my personal preference it kind of feels the same sort of speed as like a civic type r something like that would you agree to that you... yeah it's one of them kind of different like depending on what yeah it, it feels different. it's different like, now the it feels quick like it, it does feel quick it's, it's like, it is it's nippy it really is nippy and I can imagine on a track or some or some <coughs> country lanes like I've never felt anything handling wise like that obviously I've not really put it to its test around these rolls around here because not many big bends and things like that and it's icy sort of but just from the feel of steering wheel and just how responsive it is it's absolutely unbelievable and just look at it like I don't even need to talk about the looks like just the bright yellow it's 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 one thing seeing it on Instagram and it's probably one thing you've seen it on this video when you're next to it in person it's it's something that you would hardly ever see and it's uh and and it's and it's and hats off to you to for how old are you? Twenty one and you've and you've got this. Twenty two. I just turned twenty two. Just turned twenty two, and, and this is this is your dream car as well. Oh, so oh, I literally wanted one of these cars like for my first car. I was looking at like yeah. proper old ones, like high mileage ones. My first car, like insurance is what nasty, isn't it? And then, and then how many miles is on this? It's pretty, six thousand miles. Six thousand miles. miles and, and so hats off to you, mate. Honestly, oh, I appreciate you coming through. Like, oh, of I, course, I watch man. your stuff. Like, I watch, <laughs> I watch all your stuff. So. It's class. Okay. And then I'll be keen to work with each other again. So obviously go and check out his uh, go and check out his Instagram and stuff. And obviously go and check out the new video which I'm gonna be in. What the fuck? <laughs> mini, mini, mini music video, what the hell's going on lads? How do we how do we end up here? Obviously you were saying it's it's a bit annoying getting in and out and sometimes you just yeah. you'll just take the daily instead. I'll take the daily sometimes but, just look at it and think, ah, oh, uh, it's, it's a bit ever getting it out. But I think that adds to the whole experience about it. It's just one of those cars that you can't use every day and it is a bit of a hassle using every day. When you get in it, it just puts a massive smile on your face. It's like it is an experience. It's an experience it is so we've, got, we've actually got another we're actually holding the meet tonight in Leeds we're actually going to a meet in Leeds so we're going to go around to that meet so thanks for watching lads love you all I'll see you next time here's the plug right on Instagram Lewis 9016 I think he's like 16 Lewis right and I, I had never done a car video before I've never done a car music video done all the other things and he messaged me on Instagram and he said like look I love your stuff like I think you should be more involved with the car scene do a car video and I was thinking, like, I, I don't know, like, I don't, I have, I love my cars, I love modifying them, I don't know many people in the car scene. So anyway, he said, oh, leave it with me, and I was thinking, like, oh, it's gonna, like, they're not gonna be the best cars he's gonna bring through, and, like, he literally pulled through the 16-year-old lad, GTR, Nismos, probably, like, 50 people, every one of them sound, like, every one of them so sound. So we've got some hookups there as well, so there'll be a Nismo on the channel soon. Oh, yeah, <laughs> R35 Nismo, GTR on the channel soon. Literally map on it and all sorts, man, it's crazy. <laughs> but anyway, he... Lewis actually put me on your stuff, like he right. showed me your videos, and I, like I said, I've been watching them since. Oh, cool. Like, so you've got the fanboys here, me and my video, <laughs> my video guy over there, and then media, who I also should be shouting out because he literally. Yeah, I was going to say, shout out to him as well because a lot of the cinematics you'll see in this video are actually come from nm.media on Instagram. Yeah, so obviously all links will be in the description, so I'm, I'm intrigued to see what the cinematics Mate, are. Honestly, like, like Nerf does all my music videos, and like, if you watch them, like, you'll so, be impressed. Yeah, well, like, I'm sure you'll get a lot of people sent over there now. <laughs>